Officials with the Utah Department of Corrections say McNeil was discovered in one of the prison yards unresponsive. New specialist Nicole Val has the details about his death and a look back at the high profile murder case that gripped not only Utah, but the nation. Nicole? Well, Ashley and Keith, McNeil was recently denied an appeal to re retry his case just last month, and the six year old wasn't up for parole until 2052. His death is right now being looked into, but it's hard to forget how he landed in prison in the first place. By the face beside you in bed. At a night. murder case that made national headlines. The story begins with a beauty queen. At the center of it all, a prominent Pleasant Grove physician, Martin McNeil. It's a tragic death of Michelle McNeil. April 11th, 2007. Martin's wife, Michelle, was found dead, damp, in a bathtub, overdosed on drugs. She was cold and uh, her skin was wet. During the years long trial, his family, including his two daughters, sat front and center in the courtroom, holding photos of their mother, holding out hope for justice. He killed my mother. He killed my mother, who was my best friend. Six years after Michelle's death, McNeil was convicted of her murder, but his trial attorney says he always maintained his innocence. He has maintained his innocence uh, throughout the entire proceedings, not only publicly, but always privately with, with me. By phone tonight, Randy Spencer tells KSL he recently visited McNeil in prison. And although he seemed of sound mind, one part of their conversation stuck out. He told me when I visited him that living in prison is, quote, no life and that he doesn't wish to live like this. Last month, the Court of Appeals decided to uphold McNeil's conviction, denying him a new trial. Tonight, authorities are investigating the circumstances surrounding his death. Now, officials do not suspect foul play at this point, but Unified Police are heading the investigation to determine an official cause. Ashley and Keith, we also reached out to McNeil's daughters tonight for comment, but they declined to speak to the media at this time. Back to you guys. Thank you.